what is up so once again for the second week in a row it's been just an absolute crazy week my wife and I are taking off Friday to go visit some family downstate so this isn't live I'm filming this Wednesday um, these books just came in my buddy doesn't know some of these books are his I did not tell him so that way he would not come pick them up until I've until after I've filmed this so, in this, we're going to be talking about Squarebound Books and Venom 200 because that has a lot to do with this. There's some really awesome Spidey in this. Um, so, one of the things about Squarebound Books that you might notice is that this is one of the biggest flaws. Let me show you on a 9.8 what that might entail. So this is a square bound book, a DC square bound book. On a 9.8, literally there's no visible flaws on those corner edges on the spine. I know it's kind of hard to see with the glare and whatnot, but there's very there's a small one down at the bottom, none at the top. And then on the back, you can really kind of see. This did come back at 9.8. Obviously, without that, it might have even came back. Sorry, it's really hard to see. Might have even came back at a 9.9. .9. But that's neither here nor there. Squarebound books really get flagged a lot for this. So in this, I actually have five copies of the amazing beautiful cover from Venom 200, the collage cover. And I'm really hoping that they're not damaged because that's one of the things that you kind of run into. The reason I have five is because I want to send one off to CGC, give one away, keep one, and then one is going to my buddy that went in on this shipment with me um, and then the other one is going in, and then the other one I think he bought from me. I can't remember. But anyways, that's neither here nor there. Point is, look at this box. Like, what? I am totally just keeping this for the box. <laughs> All right, so 
Let's dive into this. First things first, I'm going to try to do all of the books that I got first. Actually, no, let's do his books first because we're doing this so that way he doesn't find out. Let's do that. All right, unload the shipment. I love that Comic Mint really makes these books in the nicest of shipping. This box is phenomenal. Go to The Comic Mint, the comic book marketplace. ComicMint.com is a phenomenal website. I'm so glad I found them. I found so many amazing variants from them. Really just awesome, awesome covers. Um, some of them are exclusive. Some of them aren't. But anyways, we'll kind of dive into that in a little bit. Alrighty. So let's start off with, like I said, his books. I did take them out and just organize them real quick um, beforehand so that way this went a little bit quicker. All right. I can't remember if this one was his or my wife's. I honestly don't know. I have to talk to him about it. But there's a lot of really nice Shannon Mayer variants in this mail call. Shannon Mayer has been doing some really amazing stuff. And I have her Gwen cover. With the hood up, so nice, so amazing. I've thought about setting it off. I think I might actually wait until there's a signing and get that one signed. But anyways, so this is her first Shannon Mayer cover. That's not good. Ooh. This doesn't go around the back. I need to contact them about this. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this on the camera. But there's that color breaking spine tick right there, and it goes till about the tip of my finger. Yeah. So the tip of my finger right there. It's gonna be kinda hard to pick that up. But that's not good. I'm gonna have to make sure to contact them, and it almost looks like there's a little bit of a color rub right there. But it might just be something caught underneath. The plastic, I'll have to open it up and check it out a little bit more. You can kind of see right here, there's like a little dimple. You can even see that. It was like a fingernail caught it or something. And then underneath that, there's a little white speck and a sea of black and very, very dark blue. So that's not good. Again, I have to figure out if that's my wife's or not. Um, I'm going to put that one over here just so that I can keep myself straight. You'll see me putting books in different places tonight. All right. Another absolutely stunning Shannon Mayer variant. I honestly wish that I would have picked this one up for myself and my wife because this is just a really amazing Harley Quinn variant. Deceased number one, the Harley Quinn cover by Shannon Mayer. Beautiful cover. Very well drawn. That is one of my buddies. Huge DC fan. Mark, you you and him would get along well. <laughs> this one is Deceased number two. I thought this was a three-pack, but it actually wasn't. This was also a Shannon Mayer cover. Deceased number two with Wonder Woman on the cover. Wonderful cover. Just very well done. Again, another Shannon Mayer variant. This one looks like it's in very good condition. Not liter not very good meaning VG. Very good just meaning it shipped well. And then we have Deceased uh, number three. This is not a Shannon Mayer cover. This is... I'm not quite sure. Let me see. Uh, Deceased 3, Derek Chu. This is a Derek Chu variant. And I mean, this is just so beautifully drawn. Amazing artwork on that. Very interesting and cool depiction of the Joker. Not a single bit spared in detail. 
Um, like I said, he got one of the Venom 200s. I think he actually got two. I'll have to check with him. But this, Batman 3 Jokers, book one. The Fabic and Anderson cover with Joker and the shark on it. Excellent cover. Absolutely beautiful. The one thing I will say, if you do order from pretty much anyone um, and you include pre-orders and issues that are currently out, expect that it won't ship until all of the books have come out. That's one thing we found with this order. We actually ordered it back in February, maybe even early or late January, when we noticed, when I noticed um, that Venom 200 was coming out, and this book was just absolutely gorgeous, and they had a beautiful deal, um, five books for less than $25. So, I mean, half price on each book, basically. And... I mean, I love this cover. I'm a huge Spidey fan, and Spidey makes up the entire spider of Venom, and then different variants of Venom make up everything else. Even the Venom logo, the different ways that they did it over the years, um, from the 80s until now, is just beautiful. So, I mean, I had to pick this one up. It's an absolutely gorgeous cover. Again, I got five for 25. It was a sweet deal. All right, let's keep rolling. Here are the other ones. Oh, that's right. I wanted to check. Ooh, that's not good. So I wanted to check the spines on each of these. This one looks like it's in the best shape of all of them. So this is what it should look like. There should be very minimal flaws up there. Obviously, it's going to get bumped. It's going to have color rub. That's kind of normal. Oh, that's not good on the front, though. Kind of see a color-breaking spine tick right there. And again, I wanted to send one of these off to CGC, so that's a no-go. That's how this was shipped, and that's looking like it. I'm going to put that one over there. And this is another really good copy. I'll make sure my buddy gets that one. That we each have one good one. But this one, not too bad. You can kind of see it in the camera. Um, not the worst. And that's saying a lot because that's a pretty bad um, job up there. I think it's honestly just the red. I think once you have that red in a sea of white along a spine, it pops even more when you see more white when it should only be red. So that's kind of the issue that I'm seeing. And that's why I think it pops the most. I'm going to save this one for last because I'm very pissed off about that. This one, like I said, that's kind of like that color rub spine. Where you see how it looks like when it was shipped from Diamond or whoever, or when it was manufactured and set in a warehouse at Diamond. It just didn't do too nicely. It didn't hold up too well. Oh, and you can actually see there's a little bit of damage on the back. Let's pull that one out and see how that one here. Let me see if you guys can see that. See how oh, there's that little waviness back there. I wonder what that's going to look like when it gets pulled out of here. Whew. Not good. And this is the worst one of all. It looks like someone literally took a sledgehammer to this corner. Because the whole thing is damaged. I'm going to be taking pictures of these books that are damaged and sending them back to Comic Man being like, hey, I need something in return for this. That's not okay. If you look, even the board looks like it was dinged and you can kind of tell just by looking at this corner right here that plastic looks much less uniform than this plastic I don't know how that would have happened in shipping because I mean these books were tight when I pulled them out they were literally wrapped between two pieces of cardboard and then inside um, like wrapped up in a FedEx envelope and then wrapped in bubble wrap 
and then put in that box on top of each other. So two separate shipments in one box. I mean, they were shipped in Fort Knox. Could have been better, of course. I mean, it can always always do a little bit better with shipping, but it's it is what it is. It happens. But that's just bad. So this is another part of a giveaway. Um, we're getting kind of the end of this mail call. These five books, I absolutely love this. Um, it's not even a variant. I love this cover. This is the second printing. Yep. I wanted to make sure I get that right. So again, I'm going to keep one, send one off to CGC probably, and give away the other three. I might sell them. I might put them up for sale as a claim sale. Um, I wanted to have another one in my collection, and again, there was a sweet deal on Comic Mint. They always run these sweet deals. $12 for a pack of five. And each one is four bucks, so do the math. Five times four, 20. You save eight dollars. That's a pretty sweet deal. All right, we're down to our last two, and these two are my absolute favorites from this. So I'm going to go with my, actually, no, these two aren't my absolute favorites. The Venom 200 one was my absolute favorite before all the problems. I'm going to go with the one that's kind of my favorite. I don't like the book. I read it. And I picked this up, and I figured, you know what? This is a pretty cool cover. I picked it up for a pretty cheap price. I didn't really care that much about the book, the issue, any of that. Um, it's black, white, and red carnage. Sorry, black, white, and blood carnage. Wasn't too impressed. I thought that it was... Some of the storyline in it was good. There were three stories in one book, which was weird. Um, but this cover by Lee Inhook is just phenomenal. I would love to meet this guy. Absolutely a phenomenal cover. Really well done. And like this is just how I picture Carnage in the movie. And that's one of the reasons I picked it up. Like He just looks so ridiculous in the best of ways the axe for a hand the axe is coming out of his back like just crazy and that leads me into my favorite cover pickup from all this the one that I was the most excited about when I was buying all these I was like wait a second I don't have that in my collection and it's a Clayton Crane variant. Had to hop on it. I've I've enjoyed Clayton Crane ever since I saw the Venom uh, cover with the American flag on it. Absolutely phenomenal cover. Really well done. Really beautifully drawn. Um, but I'm a huge Venom vs. Carnage fan. And he did a variant for issue number two. Legacy number 167. And this just spoke to me. It was everything that I want to see with the Carnage movie. It's everything that I enjoy about the Carnage, Symbiote, Venom storylines. It's ev It ticked every box in one cover. One cover. It hit every single one of those must-haves in a beautiful cover. I might honestly send this one off to CGC. It is absolutely beautiful. Uh, let's see. I, before I say that, I want to check this one. I've never had this issue with them before. Honestly. I, I'm i not one to lie and say that a company is great when they're not. Because I'm going to tell you the truth. They're not paying me to tell me to tell you guys one way or the other. This, this one's in pristine condition. Near Mint, Near Mint Plus. 9.6, 9.8 all day. This cover is amazing it's beautifully drawn venom and carnage against each other like the muscle of venom is perfect the insanity of carnage every little bit of carnage trying to attack venom it is just absolutely crazy and 
honestly, who wouldn't want to have this in their collection? I saw it, and usually I don't do the more expensive variants, and by expensive I mean anything above cover price, simply because it's the same book underneath. But for certain artists, I'll do it. Clayton Crane has become one of those artists that I will definitely, definitely say, you know what, I can see, I, I know why that's worth what it's worth. Phenomenal artwork. J. Scott Campbell is another one. It, those are my two favorite cover artists right now. They are killing the game. Absolutely on fire. With all that said, I need to check out some of these books and kind of go back to the drawing board with Comic Man and just be like, yo, what are we going to do? This is not okay. So I will leave you with this. That, If that doesn't piss you off, you're not a comic collector. These books are meant to be treated nicely. Anyways, so... Let me get into what is happening with the lounge over the next week or so. Over the next week, I will be doing a lot more videos. I know I've kind of taken like a hiatus from the channel and I get it. I know you guys are itching to have more content. I know you guys are itching to have more content and I'm really chameleon conspiracy is kind of wrapping up. Um, pretty soon because Sinister War is coming and that I am hoping for big things for that. So I will be talking about that soon. Um, nonstop Spider-Man, I picked that one up a week ago. Um, but one that I definitely am going to be doing a long review of, um, is Out of Body. I am very excited for this. And Naki Miranda, who wrote and did the artwork and We Live is a phenomenal, phenomenal artist. And I loved every minute of reading this book. I mean, even the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely a must read. I will be putting out a video reviewing it and breaking it down because I'm very excited for this book. Very happy to have such an amazing artist, such an amazing team of writers and artists for this. And honestly, this is something that you should be putting on your pull list. Wonderful book to read. Excellent artwork, cover to cover. Just very interesting stuff 100% of the time. So going to be doing a breakdown video of that next week. Then I, I think I'm going to start doing breakdowns of annuals, even though I don't always read what's going on in them. But this looks like a really fun annual, so I will be breaking that down and reviewing it. It might just be a short. I don't know yet. Um, but I will also be discussing this one. This has been a really amazing book from issues one through three. Absolutely phenomenal. I really want to talk about this book and break it down and kind of see what is happening. Because everything that we know about The Glowing Man is just crazy. And we don't really know that much. So this is definitely a book to put on your poll list. I can't wait to break this down with you guys. I think I'm going to be doing this live. And then from there, I will be reviewing it and giving my honest opinion of it and just telling you flat out whether or not you should pick it up to read or you should just follow along. Personally, I say pick it up. But to get my full opinion on that and for you to really understand why, you got to make sure to tune into that video. And one that's really been surprising me lately, one that I was like, you know what, I want to start picking this up just because I like the character. But genuinely a really interesting storyline, Black Cat has just been phenomenal. I'm going to be discussing Black Cat more on the channel because this is a really interesting book. It's a really low-key book right now. And I'm hoping that it kind of picks up. I'm hoping that they continue with this run and just continue with more storylines involving Black Cat, Black Cat on the front lines. And with all that being said, and after you've watched me ramble on for 
God only knows how long. I have to say, thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you have not already, please like this video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. That notification bell is very important because that's how you get notified when this channel drops new videos. I'm going to be dropping more videos, probably not daily, but you can expect a lot more now that it's summer. And I kind of just want to dive into it more. I want to build the channel and build um, more with it. That hiatus really allowed me to kind of think about where I wanted the channel to go. And I'm really excited to see where it goes with you guys. So as always, thank you for lounging with us. It has been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoy your family time. I'm going to go enjoy my family time on Friday. And we're just going to have a ton of fun. Have a great one, everyone.